goblet of fire. <laughs> Wonder what it is. Uh, that's uh, that belongs to Hogwarts, I believe. Did he at least die like a witch? Like the very best of the witches, sacrificing no. himself for the greater good. He died like a hero. <sighs> there is that. Your swords, master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honourable gentleman. Well, that's a mistake. Hello everyone, it is the Almighty Jeff and this is episode 178 of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt or part 12 of Hearts of Stone DLC. Last time we completed the quest Rose on a Red Field where we investigated the disappearance of one of Olgierd's men and went to the abandoned settlement of Bowden where after clearing out the ghouls that had taken over the place uh, that a fist tech operation had been being conducted in the area but uh, was completely taken over and killed by members of the Order of the Flaming Rose. So we tracked it down to the campment where they were actually, they'd stolen the first tech operation were basically doing it for themselves. Found out why everything had sort of disbanded, uh, mostly due to, to Radovid and his um, misappreciation, as, I don't know if that's the word, of, of the Order and basically disbanding them. So they'd turn to criminal acts and we had to fight our way out of the and we got a couple of trophies as well, achievements, I suppose, in the Steam version. So, uh, the plan for today is we are going to be working on the next main quest, or actually it's the next few main quests, because it's something of an umbrella quest, I believe, uh, which is Open Sesame. So, back with Gonta or Dim, we were given two jobs by Olgierd, uh, one of which was to show the, his brother the time of his life, which we did a few episodes ago, and the other was to move a house over or something like that. Um, so we're in Oxenvert and we're going to go to the Bossori Auction House. So let's see what we're going to be doing today. But yeah, I imagine this will take at least all of today, if not probably multiple episodes. But that's fine. This Should be a fun Bossori time. Brothers Auction House. Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you, fraternising with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Checking the place out. Just curious. Redanian army regulars, right? Lance Corporal Vatslav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. Ooh, you say um, something, soldier. I'm fine. Not a thing. I'm having sure a good time. Somewhere. There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority high. Top, in fact. Borsodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high ranking sell their war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that's confidential <laughs> military information. Kleiner don't give a shit. I love him. Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Borsodi. Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Hmm, okay. Uh, let's be nice. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vatslav stick a broomstick up his ass. <laughs> I love them. Remind you of the penalty for insulting a superior. Who have we here? Geralt Spiller. Ah, Vivaldi. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from. Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. Watch all the fash, Corporal Vatslav. Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I... But I plow and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. Uh oh cheers, Vivaldi. I mean, we've done good business with Vivaldi. I mean, but you've... You guys have really seen orders. it. Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. No! Stand to attention, and shut your giggy. Shut your giggy, I love it. Yeah, you guys have really seen about almost oh, every time I finish an episode. Back at the barracks. Sort it! Now march! Round you go! One, two, one, two! 
these two are great. Um, I've always been back to Vivaldi to exchange my foreign coins and turn them into warrens. So we, we, we've done plenty of business together in the last uh, year or so. Just note, I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you is a pure pleasure, Vimmy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah, <laughs> folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitists of the Maribor School. Van der Neu and Longing Deep. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? Fair enough. Could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered Horst a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've nae seen a purer example of the benevolent state. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? He's dead. <laughs> Not a wee bit like his da, my little a keep his soul. But Horst did like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only ever clicked on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. All right, thank you, Vimy. So there's a few people we want to. I don't know if it's downstairs that we need to look around. The first blow would shatter them. Oh, it was a unicorn. We'll borrow that for you again. <laughs> this one probably also belonged to a sorceress. Right. Fetish, maybe. <laughs> that can't be right. Uh, but yeah, there are a few people we can interact with from the collection of the Mage Aramis uh, before we go into the auction. There's a few things we want to do here in relation to getting some achievements and uh, trophy and um, side quests. Hmm. A giant's, or maybe a Jotun's. Oh, they should bring Geralt on as a um, as an inspector of all like anything school related or. From living thing, and he'd be like, ah, I know what this is. Codex Redaniensis, sole surviving copy. Something of an expert with his uh, age and his job. Zeracanian spears. Excellent adornments for any parlor wall. <laughs> Good to know. Okay. Goblet of fire. <laughs> Wonder what it is. Uh, that's, uh, that belongs to Hogwarts, I believe. Alright. You thought of buying real estate? Could get you attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan hey. terms, Vimy. What about in Kaviri Marks? Come on. You know damn well that makes no sense. Hmm. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corner's Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing Gwent. Ooh, ah, Gwent, the love it. There's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> Alright, here we go. So there's three different people we can talk to, as Vimy pointed out there. So we've got the art collector, who's this guy, I believe. Uh, we've got the countess. The countess? Yep. Yeah. And the Gwent player, before we uh, go in for our auction. So we'll talk with him first. I think we want to have a look around here first. So it's in cover Ego. Busin 1210 Oil on Canvas. Okay. Look at the one up here. Still life, JD Vavari. Tour 22. The vessel leaving port, tour 20 by Z, Z Burner. Okay. The Spice Merchants by E. Van der 
Noob. Some knights of the Order of the Flaming Rose, they say. Battle of Angari, 1206 by V. De Lynch. Lynch. Yeah, okay. Yaramir, might we trouble you a wee spell? Mm-hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. About the paintings on the block today. Hmm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. Well, you know, I can't argue with that. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Oh, we getting tested. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nobe? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem, so do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Nobe, the master from Maribor. Um... I think it was the portrait, was it? I think. Not sure. Of the greatest memory at the best of times. Merchant with the pearl, no two ways about it. My, my. Who would have thought? Oh, I was right. Might I have a word in private? Good, good. Forgive me my impertinence. At first, I thought you an ignoramus. Vivaldi's equal. I feel I should apologize and atone, so I shall tell you a secret. A Van Roe is due to appear on the block. The painter's unknown largely, but has a fierce admirer in Marcus Hodgson, a bookseller, has his shop in Novigrad's main square. I wager you'll sell him the canvas at a tidy profit. Thanks. Oh, think nothing of it. Now, please excuse me. My friend's begging. All right, and I believe we need to buy that for uh, the only other side quest in this story that we've not picked up yet. Hmm. See, he's just doing it to to store them, isn't he? He's not, he's doing it purely for financial. But only so we, I suppose. But um, I mean, we've got a tip off. I feel we should keep it. Ah, uh, nothing special. Truly? Huh? Shame that. All right, let's go. Ink spot upon ink spot. She a number of them's doing my heed in. Hmm, there we go. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to the Countess. Uh, who is this lady, I believe? Greetings to the Honourable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Oh, very... Forgive me. Attuned. Have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin. What now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Ooh, very fancy. Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations dating from my oh so distant youth did you see such things countess you look right fetching to me that's very kind master vivaldi but apart from my veda maniaca i also own a number of mirrors your most prized piece what would it be an armor element an antique school of the wolf from 1234 classic is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. 
But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%. A modest uh, uh, transaction fee. Oh, jeez, okay. Alright, let's see what she's got. Never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Alright, so she actually has these unique Viper diagrams. They cannot be found anywhere else in the game. So I want to make sure that we buy these. It may not be any good for us. Um, might all be a downgrade, but doesn't matter. Unfortunately, I've got nothing to give her because it's coming straight off an episode where I did my big run of uh, dropping stuff off that I don't need. So. But yeah, there we go. So. Let's carry on. Does the Countess have her eye on anything in particular today? No, but Horst Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic. Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes. Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy. All right, can do that. Bit of extra uh, XP, can we? Mm, some spilled wine. Nothing else. Can't be shrugged off. Hmm. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tinge shorter than you, wore a mustache. Oh, Do I Vesemir. know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he? If you don't mind he, my Yeah, he's dead. Oh, don't this is too God. sad. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir. Of the school of the wolf, he came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met. Something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, Night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes. But also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued, then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus... I have lived on memories. <sighs> Afraid I have bad news. Oh? It's as hard for me as it Please was for you. Tell me. Did he at least die like a witch? Like the very best of the witches. Sacrificing no. himself for the greater good. He died like a hero. <sighs> there is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. So I know due to like, the levelling of the quests and that, that it's, you're obviously much more likely to have done that quest before this. But it is technically possible, I suppose, to do the Hearts of Stone before you reach that point in the story, I suppose, unless like, it caps you off at some point and you have to progress the main story a bit further. 
so I wonder if that um, exchange could be different if it's before uh, Battle of Kaer Morhen. Yeah. Anyway, so we just got Hilbert. Who is it? Hilbert, or is it? No, it's not you. Um... I don't understand their art. Hmm. No, oh, yeah, I think it is this guy. All right. Halbert, it's been years. Allow me to introduce you, Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right. Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, isn't it? Come on, admit it. Nah, Northern Realms. Not a bad deck, Nilfgaard, but I'll take the Northern Realms over it any day. Ah, understood. A patriot. You ought to know, Helmut. Geralt here's a positively superb player. Superb. Hmm. We got a minute before the auction starts, so. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Maybe around? Yeah, let's go. We can afford it. Suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Naturally. Uh, Geralt, may I have a wee word? What is it? Well, mate, since I brought you together, I do believe I'm owed a share of your winnings, if there are any. Ten percent. I find this for your souls again. Mm -hmm. Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learnt in my tree, friend. Coin then a stink. So, what'll it be? Oh, fine, whatever. Well, you did help with the guards at the door. All right. Ten percent of any winnings is yours. Any chance for a fifteen? Don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Watch it, soldier. All right. Game on. You know, other than that enchanting stuff, I think we we should be all right pretty much for, for money-wise now. Now, I do believe winning this game gets us a unique card um, for... I'm not going to say who the card is, but... Um, yeah, so I think it'd be uh, good to win this. I'm not sure if we can uh, replay it. If um, we we lose, basically. But try our best. What we might as well do is um, dump all these cards in the first round. See what he does, and then we'll have our, as, as big a set as we can do. I don't do that. Why'd you do that for? Son of a gun. Okay, well thank you. I mean, should we just um So we just play through the round? I was planning on just like sort of skipping it, but Might as well see if we can win it. Um I just don't want to use any of these just yet. Um Yeah, sod it. Why not? At least give it a whirl. Okay, he's he's getting I think he's getting ready to back out, personally. Um right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna double that and then next round I'm gonna pass. So we've still got a fair amount of cards, and if he just decides to start battering me, he's gonna use up a lot of his cards. Oh no, never mind, he's uh He's playing for whatever he's playing for. We do still have that trophy to go for, which is to get in, like, have, like, a lead of, I think, like, 240 odd points in a round. We'll see. We've got some of these. Um, we can get more cards.
We're just gonna just drop a scorch on me at some point, and uh, I'm gonna have like all of my best cards in the same row. Because that is my my luck, really. Always happens to me. You know what we might do? Just to just to cheese him a little bit. <laughs> Put biting frost on there. Probably safe for the time being. Be clear weather. All right. Yeah, there it is. I knew it. You are swipe. Hmm. Could we feasibly win it this round? Oh yeah, we could. Could we have? There we go. I was wondering whether we should have passed it towards the end, though. We didn't need to. So as well. Unbelievable! I don't buy it. You cheated. You must have something. Hexed me or whatnot. Oh, I'd be careful with the gab helmet. Before Geralt takes a mind to demanding satisfaction. You give it to him, you damn midget! You bearded pinch fist! Oh, ho, ho, ho. interest will be a right bit higher when that bugger next comes round asking for a loan. All right, we did it. I'm happy that. And as you saw, we got the gone to or dim card as well. Honourable gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, at long last. Come with me to the fore. I won't see much elseways. Huh? Okay. Alright, it's time for the actual auction. Vimy, listen. Forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, they'll be an intermission. Horst Vasodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to beg? Of course I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ha! Ah, knew the bug would get you. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. We we'll actually want to buy all three for an achievement. The brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumour has it the figure harbours a treasure inside. A rumour one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price? Quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? Yeah, let's go for it. The white-haired gentleman enters a bit of... The white-haired gentleman. Do we have 250? 200 once, twice, thrice! Splendid Countess Mignot bids 250. Do I hear 300? Oh, fine. I'll, I'll beat you in this bidding more, madam. My, my, this is lively. I've 300 going once, going twice. Do we have 350? 300 thrice and sold to the white-haired fellow. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine. Proceeding right. now to lot number Interesting. two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe, Starry Night over the Pontar. <laughs> Truly a bargain. Interesting. Twenty crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, twenty crowns. It's practically naught. Yeah, I'll have that. Yes, the gentleman with the cat eyes. At twenty. Do I hear thirty? Twenty going once, going twice, going thrice. See? So it's the people you know. Starry night over the pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth. Spectacles. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters. Once the property of the famed hired assassin known as 
I thought they looked like the professor's glasses. From which you won. Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. Give me them bloody glasses. They're mine. Incredible. I killed the fool that wore them glasses. 350 crowns. A generous offer indeed. Any advance? 350 going once. Going twice? Sold! Invaluable spectacles to the white-haired gentleman. Exceedingly glad they'll be useful. May they serve you well. <laughs> oh, the excitement. There we go, Shopaholic. Three lots behind us. We'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. Right, excellent. And from that we should pick up two quests. So we've got the side quest for, for selling the painting to the guy in Novigrad. And then another one with the Kurt Romilly's... Ornament. Come on, before some other cocksuckers steal him. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. Why not? I'm, I'm the, the big seller. Don't just throw that. That's not going to get you a warm welcome if you just throw the apple on the floor. Greetings, horse. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia. Who comes uninvited? <laughs> okay, we've got to go for this. But you've gained by my presence. Dropped a hefty pile of crowns here. I'm not like Vivaldi. Profit alone only goes so far for me. I seek more. The auction house is primarily a meeting place for the local elite. I needn't tell you, an itinerant mutant doesn't quite fit in. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? The Borsodi's Auction House. I'm assuming the name's no coincidence. Got a relative I could talk to? Someone... How do I say this? A smidgen less irritating. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, name's a historical legacy, Geralt. Auction House was founded by two brothers. Horst's father and an uncle. In this generation... I, and only I, am it. So get to the point. Now. Right. Let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsotti's house. Gotta lay my hands on it. Whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen! No reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? From Olgierd von Everek. Name mean anything to you? It does. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hamelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It were a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. I get the impression we probably should have mentioned all geared. I don't like this guy. I we didn't fail the quest. <laughs> that would be quite embarrassing. Your swords, Master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honourable gentleman. Well, that's a mistake. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Shut up and fight. Your mom smells like gooseberries! <laughs> Is that a multi python reference? Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. There you go. I'll have my sword back, please, gents. Ooh, that sounds bright. Someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though, so you can sit tight a while. <laughs> Excellent. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gore. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. 
Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Bosodi's house alone. Really think you can help me? We can help each other. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst lay in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist? Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenfurt. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know why you've called. If this is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you. I hope. Ooh, he's watching over us. Heist. Yeah, that sounds exciting. All right. So um, we've reached that five minutes, and we're still in open sesame. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. We've got a few character entries as well. Forty XP. Yeah, we've got the uh, the auction out of the way. So we've got avid collector. So that is the treasure hunt, I think, or the. Um, is it? Or is it that the... Um... Oh wait, no, sorry, that's the portrait one. I think for the... Um... So you've got the spectacles, but I think when you get this, the Romulus figurine can get it dismantled somewhere, and then that'll give you the quest. Anywho, let's... Um... Let's wrap up. So we've got some new characters. We've got Horse Basardi. And we've got the Stranger. We can basically skip straight through to um, quests, which we've only walked through Open Sesame, and we've picked up Avid Collector. And of course, no level up, and we'll bring it to midday, why not? And we'll save the game there. Alright guys, that's where we're going to end it for today, so it was pretty cool going to that auction, and we managed to get a little bit more... Um, background and stuff with the uh, the Countess and her relationship with Vesemir, which I was not expecting in the slightest, so that was um, pretty cool to find out, and obviously it was quite a sad topic, but again, I'm wondering if the conversation could be different if you did, um, by some chance, do this quest before you did the Battle of Cair Morin where Vesemir dies, but like I said, because of the fact that this is such a higher level quest, I imagine like 95% of people would have done the main story first. Because uh, I feel like it's sort of adapted so that you're meant to sort of do this after the main story. So, yeah, and obviously they managed to get a new Gwent figurine. We're so slowly earning our reputation back after we cocked it up at the uh, the wedding party. Um, but in fact, I actually found out when I was doing a bit of research this episode that it was good that we cocked up because if we get the ass ears and also the, pre the professor's glosses and we combine it with the diagram that we've not yet bought, we can actually get a, um, a new item. So it's... Oh, I wasn't anticipating to actually pick it up, but um, yeah, it's actually worked out well that we have. So next time we will be continuing with Open Testament, we'll go over find this herb list and see if we can put together a heist, is what it seems to get the auction house, so that should be quite exciting. Before I put, let me take a second to thank my amazing patrons, my £5 patron is Ron Hyler, you can find us at his channel as well as my other £3 patrons in the description down below, and on screen you'll see great to my £1 patrons, thank you so much everyone, this is truly appreciated and it goes a long way to have the channel, so I do thank you a lot for that. And if you should become a patron, you can follow the link in the description down below. You don't have to do that because at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.